Hey guys, how you all doing? Hope you're doing well. It's Watson here and welcome back to another another vlog. It is officially the weekend guys. It's Saturday and I am out on the Swagway again. I filmed a vlog yesterday for you guys which is probably out before this vlog. So yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy that. But yeah, I'm out on the Swagway guys and that is kind of the main topic of today's vlog. The Swagway simply guys should you still buy a swagway in 2018 i'm going to be answering that question later on in today's vlog and telling you guys is it still worth it on actually getting a swagway now in 2018 with obviously them being out for so long already and other products being on the market so yeah it's going to be a really really amazing and fun vlog to film. Quickie guys, um, for all you people thinking that this vlog is filmed on the same day as the vlog that I actually uploaded uh, yesterday, trust me guys, it is not, uh, it's just that I've got the exact same hoodie on and same bag with me I, I literally look exactly the same but you can tell that it's not the same vlog because my hair is a bit more uh, nicer today yesterday it was just absolutely just I don't know what it was I don't know words to describe that it was just like weird and, 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 and strange I'm being chased so yeah guys I assure you that this vlog is not filmed on the same day, it's just that I've literally got the same uh, same hoodie on. I was just getting chased by some like little kid there. Uh... Good! Oh, good! Yeah, and hopefully, guys, I'm also getting my hair cut later as well, so I can go, like, you know, short down the sides and a bit of a trim on the top, and we can be all nice and nice, nicely paired styled again, hopefully. Yeah, that would be, uh, that'd be decent enough, wouldn't it? Sorry guys, just noticed the exposure was like really over, like underexposed pretty much. So I've just put it put it up a little bit now, so it's a bit uh, a bit brighter for you guys because it looked like really uh, really dark and dim just because I just did that time lapse a minute ago. A lot of you guys have been asking about like events and that going on, and if I'm going to be attending any more events this year. Of course, guys, I'm going to be attending a lot more events this year. We've got Summer in the City 2018 coming up, and we've also got Insomnia 63. Two like amazing events. I am 100% going to Summer in the City for both of the days. So yeah, that's down in London. So yeah, I'm going to be down down it. Oh my god, took out by a tree. So yeah, I'm going to be down in London for a bit of a long weekend. I'm going to be doing some madness at somewhere in the city. So yeah, that's going to be cool. I'm going down there with Geordie Fox, uh, Matt Bird, Aaron Leach, Bezza HD, and a few other people, I think. So yeah, it's going to be a really sick event. I'll probably set up like a meet and greet up there and that. If a lot of you guys are going in and we can sort that out nearer the time. And then it's also 95% confirm that I will be attending Insomnia 63. I'm just sort of like in the talking stages of it at the moment, but it obviously probably will happen because it always does. So yeah, 95% sure I'll be attending that event. And I'll probably maybe be going this time for the full weekend, which is literally like four days. It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday so yeah that'll be a really really fun experience so yeah hopefully I will be attending the full event along with obviously the normal squad like Matt Bird, Geordie Fox, Aaron Leach etc etc along with also Warwin Vlogs most likely as well so yeah that's going to be a really 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 fun few events going on so I thought I'd just clear that with you guys and let you guys know because I know a lot of you like to come and meet me and obviously the events are the place to do it so yeah they're the events guys I will let you know obviously nearer the time prior to both the events and probably make some announcement videos that I'm actually going nearer the time to both of them so yeah they're both in August so I will let you guys know nearer the time all the ins and outs so yeah I just thought I'd let you guys know simply though that I probably am most likely attending both of them events if not definitely certain attending both of them events because they're just mental i've been trying to keep up with all of these great expectations so i keep on thinking 
But this time I'm not going to do the gym equipment. This time I'm actually going to uh, do just some stuff about the swag wear and talk about is it still worth it in 2018. Surprisingly, guys, it is a Saturday afternoon, about 5 o'clock, and it's been a really nice day all day, and there is nobody here. don't know how they managed to work that one out. So, yeah, quite a quiet park, to be honest. So then guys, obviously main topic of today's vlog and that is about this big gold badger thing here. So yeah, guys, is this Swegway still worth it in 2018? Should you still buy a Swegway in 2018? Wow guys, I'm going to simply just be answering that straight off the bat for you guys today with... The, the simple answer of a uh, yes, I think you guys should, and there, there's a few factors on why you should. A, one of them is actually the Swegway has now been out for about four years, and they're, they're cheaper now, so you can get you can get some good deals on some Swegways. They're not as expensive as they used to be. I did actually see a brand new one the other day. All legit with a Samsung battery and everything and Bluetooth speakers in it. It was chrome blue, brand new, for £80. That is an absolute bargain, guys, if you do want to get your hands on one of these mental, mental things. So, yeah, I, I would really recommend it. And you can obviously get a few new different options on them now. You can get bigger wheel ones. You can get ones with, like, lights here and other, other different cool stuff you can get, actually, on these Swegways, Mono Rovers or hoverboards whatever you want to call it so yeah yeah you can get, get a really like good few deals on them and obviously i've had this swagway now i would say for about two years coming up to two years two two and a half years or something like that and yeah it's been really really good it, the actual mechanism of the swagway has held up really really well i've got nothing to fault about that whatsoever it's been a really 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 good 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 journey with it it's been mental um, i've actually replaced the actual casing on it the plastic shell casing on it a couple of times i've had it originally in like a matty sort of gold um, and then i went to a chrome silver now obviously i've had this chrome gold on it for about about a year now and this is really trying trying you know it's showing its wear now so i um obviously we'll be getting a new case on it soon but that's all i need to do like i don't need to go and get another another swagway a whole new swagway or anything like literally i don't need to do that i'll just buy another case whatever color i want i choose it buy that case it's like 30 40 pounds and then stick it on the I'll stick it on the swagway it looks good as new and i would say the batteries as well hold up really really well as i say i've had this for about two and a half years now and the battery is only just starting to die so I will be actually getting a new battery for it like very soon, like the battery is actually wearing out a bit now and it, it dies easier than it used to do, it goes flatter easier, it doesn't hold its charge as much. But I'd say the battery's been really, really good and I could buy another battery, they're like £60, they're, it's just not an expensive thing to run, it, it's really, really good and, and to ride it as well, it, it's amazing, like it's, it's just so smooth and everything, it's really, really fun and good. Um, experience I would say to um, to ride one of these and actually own one it's just it's really really cool and yeah it, it, it's mental and obviously this one now is a bit older so it does make a few different like rickety bits because there's some like screws loose on it and that and the wheels are obviously older and that and bearings and whatever else is inside of these etc etc get older so yeah they do make a few noises but at the end of the day it, it, it's not really loud you wouldn't really notice it and only the rider sort of notices it, and yeah, the, it is a, a good thing. I, I do recommend actually getting one of these guys uh, if you haven't already. Um, you know, they're, they're good, and obviously you could go go ahead and get a like a boosted board or something. But they're like, you know, a one thousand pound plus, and this it's just a cheap way of having a bit of fun. And obviously, when I when I bought it, it was a, a lot more money than it is now. I bought this Wegway right here actually for two hundred and sixty pounds or something like that. Um, 
or 300 I don't even know I think it was like around the 300 mark actually so 300 pounds for this and now you can get a brand new one for 80 um, yeah I, I, I would seriously recommend if you don't already own one of these go, go and buy one like right now because they're they're, they're mental and they're really really cool like, I love them and I love riding it when I see like it's a nice new day I think right pick up the camera pick up the swagway let's go for a little ride and it, yeah really really good and as for like the range and everything on this about about five miles i think you can get on this um without with a, with a full charge because I, I just literally googled it i didn't actually know this these things actually have a range of about 15 to 20 miles so yeah that, that's a cool fact i've never actually ridden it 20 miles in one charge i've ridden, ridden it about five and it hasn't gone like dead so yeah that's cool guys also plus facts i got my facts wrong this thing here has a range of 20 flipping whopping miles that that's insane guys so yeah I, i've said it i've done it go and buy go and buy one of these swagways right now guys as i say mad piece of equipment mad piece of tech for any tech lever or for actually anyone who just wants to have a bit of fun absolutely mental stuff guys that's my review and should you still buy a swagway in 2018 that's that question answered Sweet. Yeah, guys, this is just like a typical ride on this work, but I'm going fast here. And yeah, it's really nice and smooth. And if you pick up the piece of it, it's really good. The penny is really, really fun. Amazing thing. And guys, it does like have a pretty good top end as well if you do actually know what you're doing. Like you have to get used to it first because when I did first get it, I did think it would be a good idea to absolutely razz it down the street. Uh, after like literally not riding one like as far as I did or like as fast as I did ever before I thought it'd be a great idea to rad it down the street and yeah you can obviously imagine that what I did is completely stack it before I could even think about where I was going L literally I, I it, it took off like they do have a mental speed now I've had this for like two and a half years now as I said before and I've got really used to riding it I haven't fell off it for, for like six months or something touch wood so yeah I, i'm doing really well with the riding on it it's just like a game of balance i think but yeah i can absolutely like i can go mad like speed on it now i'm going to go on some tarmac up there and just show you guys what it can actually do because yeah it, its performance is pretty good for like just a little little battery operated wheel thing technically hey guys i'm on the tarmac now this is literally like you know Go on faster, faster, faster. It gives you this beep, but it just gets faster and faster and it still goes. As I say, I'm going really fast now. That. Literally, it, it razzes. It is mad. Mental stuff. Like, that is so cool. And, and as I say, guys, it gives you like a little warning. Like, it gives you some beeps. If you can hear this now, I don't know. Okay. You can just hear that little beep, I don't know if you guys could hear it, but yeah, it gives you that little warning, and that's basically just saying that you're exceeding the limit, and you're literally hitting on the limit, uh, limiter and that, but it doesn't matter, guys, it just goes faster, and it's mental. I, just, I don't know if, like, that's the same with all swagways, but this one seems to just go faster and faster and faster. Like, obviously, it wouldn't go, like, 60 miles per hour or something, but it's got a pretty impressive speed for just a little thing like this. I would say this probably goes at, like... 15 miles per hour or something which is a uh, pretty impressive just for something on your on your feet basically so yeah really really impressed with this thing guys it is it's, it's sweet also guys another cool feature on the swagway is you can actually regenerate the battery charge by braking so if you didn't know that you literally when you're out of battery as you can see now i'm kind of flashing that means when this light is flashing on here it actually means that you're running out of bit of juice so basically what you want to do is you're like stuck a tranny somewhere you literally just go fast like so like this a bit slower brake brake and brake you could do this literally like, the whole way home it's going to regenerate you enough battery charge to make sure this thing does not go flat and then guys in that sort of um bad event where you might actually run out of juice in this you can literally get one of these bags here and pop it in there and then this one actually goes on my back and i can just walk with it home so yeah it's a really really cool cool and that's that's a cool accessory for this and it's it's a really good product i would say go and buy one like right now 
you do actually get a um, you do actually get a bag with with the swagway, not this actual bag. You just get like a little carry bag which you can just put the swagway in and carry it with walk with, and walk with it and that. But I actually got I got this swagway bag for my birthday and uh, yeah, this one goes on your back and it's pretty pretty cool because you can just like as I say, put it on your back. The swagway's in there, takes the weight out of your hands and your shoulders and everything. It's just literally on your back. You wouldn't even know it was there. And these things weigh like 20 kilos, so uh, yeah, pretty impressive just to put that like on your back really but yeah guys hope you did sort of go ahead and enjoy my like little topics topic style vlog topic vlog today guys i did enjoy sort of making it so yeah i thought i'd just let you guys know all them sort of details about the swagway because like i get asked a lot of questions about the swagway and obviously maybe people see me out or see me around and that they're literally like jack have you got your swagway with you can i go on your swagway and you know it's a really popular thing like people do love the uh, the, the swagway and yeah uh, I, I thought i'd just bring that into the vlog today and do a little topic vlog of uh, the, the, the swagway, yeah, so yeah, pretty cool. But guys, with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end today's vlog off right here. So I hope you did all go ahead and enjoy. Remember to drop a like and comment and all that awesome stuff and do, you know, whatever you want. And you can also subscribe to me if you're new. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's, today's vlog. And I will catch you all in, in my next video, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. Au revoir. We're secretly out of control My body knows it But my mom's got a problem with her She's and she's angry Cause my dad's on the stage